Wow, go on, wow, go on. What's great? Chef here, John Morris again, man. And today, we're making a quesadilla omelette, as seen in the title. Quick and easy. This is something that I've been whipping up for weeks now. And I say, you know what? Let me share it with my fans. You know what I'm mean? saying? And the ingredients that we have are just simple, everyday ingredients that I guarantee you can find in your fridge. We know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. So I chose to do this recipe because one, I never tend to finish all my breakfast. So if you're guilty of that as well, this is a simple recipe for you that's delicious and quick. Five minutes of your time and I guarantee you'll go away loving this one. Right? So right here I have my pan and I'm going to heat that up to medium. I have a little bit of bell pepper and some bruschetta mix, which is onion, as I said, tomato, garlic and stuff, and then a little bit of bell peppers right here. And then we're just gonna finish that off with cheese, and of course, salt and pepper to taste. That's it, quick and easy. And yes, we're gonna be needing a tortilla shell, and the tortilla shell of choice is a flour tortilla, which is nine inches, right? So let's get cooking. So the pan of choice you want to use is a non-stick frying pan. And we're going to go in with a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. In with our bruschetta and pepper mix. And this mix right here, I'm using two tablespoons of bruschetta mix. And this is already flavored, so we don't need to add any seasoning to this. If you want to learn how to make your bruschetta, I have a video out on that. You can check it out right there and you'll know how to make this. This is already flavored. We're just gonna cook it off for about a minute. While that's cooking off, we're gonna beat three eggs. And a little bit of salt to taste. All right, so now our veggies are somewhat cooked. Spread them out in the pan. We're gonna hit that now with our egg. Quick little breakfast. Kids will love this, I guarantee. Spread that around in the pan. You want the veggies to be evenly distributed because you don't want the omelette to break on you. Nice. Immediately we're gonna add our tortilla right on there. So you wanna put the tortilla down as soon as you put the egg in the pan because that way the egg will stick to the tortilla. I'm gonna spray the outside of the tortilla with a little bit of oil, nothing much. So this way it crisp up real fast and it doesn't stick. And then something I like to add, pinch of sea salt right over the back after you put that on there. So that sea salt over the back the oil will help to stick it to it. About 30 seconds or a minute in, we don't want to overcook this. Shake that, release the egg from the sides. Not a long process, as I said, five minutes. Shake. So one of two ways you can take this out. You can flip it with two spatulas or you can take it out on a round plate or any flat surface. I have a wooden board here. Push that out. Boom. Got a little bit sticking. Slide that right back in. Beautiful. Put that back into its place. And at this point, you want to top that off with your cheese. Just like that. Add, an, add, add cheese to your liking here. I'm not putting too much cheese on here. And the goal here now is to just crisp up that quesadilla. So this is on medium heat and literally not even five minutes and breakfast is ready. Shake the pan around just to prevent it from staying one place and burning. This right here is optional but a little bit of parsley and chili flakes to finish off mine. I love parsley and I love chili flakes, you know? And then now, flip that right over. Look at that. Press that down. 
So I like my quesadilla a bit crisp. So I'm gonna do that. You could also leave it open to crisp it up, but this way is also a good way. Flip that over. See that nice crisp? That is, that's what I like. And there you have it. Nice and crisp. I'm just gonna cut that now. Cut that in half. Nice. Nice. A little thing that I like to serve mines with is some ketchup and sour cream. You can serve this with whatever you like and I guarantee you, you will enjoy this one. You see me? So boom. Ooh, look at that cheese. Ooh. And there you go. Your kids will enjoy this too. I made this for my son, five years old, but I put some pepperoni in there. And I'm telling you, this guy ate all four slices with two eggs though. And he was saying, Dad, I'm full, but I can't stop eating. This is so good. Try this out at home. And I guarantee you, quick breakfast, once you have everything prepped in under five minutes, let me know how it go. Leave in the comment section what you think of this one. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see if travel on the gravel and go and big up on yourself.